it begin. Come on. When, when, it, when Hillary Clinton says I'm out of touch, I, I just have to remind people of the track record. All right? So now this is Senator Clinton. This is the same person who has taken more money from lobbyists than any other candidate, Democratic or Republican. Taking more money from drug company lobbyists and insurance company lobbyists, and she's saying, I'm out of touch? Who do you think is out of touch? This is the same person who took money from financial folks on Wall Street and then voted for a bankruptcy bill that makes it harder for folks right here in Pennsylvania to get a fair shake. This, this is the same person who spent a decade with her husband campaigning for NAFTA and now goes around saying how she was opposed to NAFTA. Is, does that sound like she's in touch with Pennsylvania? Does that sound like she's in touch with you? This is the same person who says she's voting for the Columbia trade deal. Turns out that her top advisor, her top strategist, was working for the Colombian government to get the bill passed. Does that sound like she's in touch with you? There has to come a point at which you say, somebody who makes those kinds of statements doesn't have the judgment, the temperament, uh, the understanding to occupy the most powerful position in the world. Bernie's slogan has helped his campaign catch fire among young people. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. It's a good slogan. Uh, Hillary's slogan has not had the same effect. Let's, let's see this. <laughs> Look, I've said how much I admire Hillary's toughness, her smarts, her policy chops, her experience. You've got to admit it, though. Hillary trying to appeal to young voters is a little bit like your relative who just signed up for Facebook. Yeah. Dear America, did you get my poke? Is it appearing on your wall? I'm not sure I'm using this right. Love and Hillary. It's not entirely persuasive. I, 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 I'm, I'm going a little off script here, but I just want to repeat this. If your concern is working people, then this is not a choice. I don't care whether you're white, black, Hispanic, Native American, polka dot, male, female. I, I don't care if what you care is who's going to be fighting for ordinary folks who are fighting for a better life for themselves and their children, then I don't know how you vote for the guy who's against the minimum wage, against unions, against making sure that everybody gets a fair shot, against legislation for equal pay, against sick leave and, and, and family leave, against all the things that working families care about. So. If, if, if you're voting for the other team, it's not because of the economy. It's not because of the economy. You've got to be clear about that. I mean, even, 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 even the, uh, even the, 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 the public on the other side don't really know what you guys are talking about. They really don't. They really don't. You ask them, they're all like, and then they
Welcome to your access to the Germany Frame System. 